Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, the news that the capacity utilization rate of TSMC's 7 nanometers process is less than 50% has attracted widespread attention. Due to insufficient production capacity, TSMC had to cut prices to secure orders. However, the industry is generally cautious about this price reduction event. Because manufacturers such as Apple, MediaTek, Qualcomm, Nvidia, and AMD are not optimistic about the 7 nanometers process. What they need is more advanced processes such as 5 nanometers, 4 nanometers, and 3 nanometers. At the same time, for some applications that require low power consumption, such as automotive chip manufacturers, they still use relatively old 40 nanometers, 28 nanometers, and other processes. On the one hand, this is related to the low cost performance of 7 nanometers chips, and everyone is unwilling to upgrade the process. On the other hand, for automotive chips, the 7 nanometers process has no obvious advantages. In comparison, the 40 nanometers and 28 nanometers processes are more stable and reliable, so automotive chips manufacturers are not in a hurry to upgrade their processes. Therefore, the lack of orders for TSMC's 7 nanometers process is a problem that is difficult to solve. TSMC can only choose to either upgrade part of its 7 nanometers production capacity to a more advanced process or downgrade it to a more mature process. However, although TSMC's 7 nanometers process currently lacks market demand, Huawei urgently needs 7 nanometers production capacity. Huawei's latest Kirin 9000S chip and some other Kirin series chips use the 7 nanometers process. Currently, the supply of Mate 60 series mobile phones on the market exceeds demand. In addition, Huawei's AI chip Ascend series and Kunpeng chips are also widely favored by domestic manufacturers, and these chips also use the 7 nanometers process. However, it happens that TSMC's 7 nanometers production capacity cannot meet Huawei's needs. So whether it is AI chips, Kirin chips, or Kunpeng chips, they are all facing production capacity difficulties. If the needs of both parties can match, it will be a win-win situation. Unfortunately, because TSMC cannot OEM for Huawei, demand and production capacity cannot match. Previously, TSMC President Zhong Zhongmu once pointed out that the globalization of the semiconductor industry has passed away, referring to this situation. Since various factors such as production capacity, orders, and supply chains cannot be deployed globally, resources are wasted and have a huge impact on the semiconductor industry. As a well-known technology company in China, Huawei has high visibility and influence globally. However, just recently, Huawei has encountered the dilemma of insufficient 7 nanometers chip production capacity. According to media reports, Huawei's latest Kirin 9000S chip and some other Kirin series chips use the 7 nanometers process, but the production capacity of this process cannot meet Huawei's needs. First of all, after the launch of Huawei's Kirin 9000S chip, its stability and excellent performance have attracted widespread attention. Not only in the Chinese market, Huawei mobile phone users around the world are looking forward to this chip. However, due to insufficient production capacity of 7 nanometers chips, Huawei's mobile phones were in short supply and became a hard-to-find product on the market. 
This has also brought opportunities to the black market, with many businesses with bad intentions making huge profits by reselling Huawei phones. Secondly, Huawei's AI chip Ascend series and Kunpeng chips are also being snapped up due to insufficient 7 nanometers chip production capacity. Under the current craze of artificial intelligence, the demand for AI technology in all walks of life is growing day by day. As an important player in the field of AI chips, Huawei's market demand for its Ascend series chips and Kunpeng chips has maintained strong growth. However, the shortage of 7 nanometers chip production capacity has become an important issue restricting Huawei's development. Due to insufficient production capacity, Huawei cannot meet market demand in a timely manner, causing some partners to choose to find other suppliers. This has undoubtedly had a certain impact on Huawei's market share and brand image. Generally speaking, Huawei's demand is urgent, and the insufficient production capacity of 7 nanometers chips has brought great challenges to Huawei. As the global semiconductor industry changes, how to solve the problem of insufficient production capacity has become an important task facing Huawei. Analysis of the reasons for TSMC's insufficient 7 nanometers chip production capacity. As one of the world's largest foundries, TSMC has always had an important position in the semiconductor field. However, TSMC's recent shortage of 7 nanometers chip production capacity has attracted widespread attention. So, what is the reason for TSMC's insufficient 7 nanometers chip production capacity? First, technology is improving much faster than production capacity. As technology continues to advance, semiconductor processes are also developing. From 14 nanometers to 10 nanometers, 7 nanometers, and now to the more advanced 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers processes, every breakthrough requires a lot of R&D investment and production preparation. However, these technological breakthroughs do not mean that production capacity can also increase simultaneously. The construction of production lines, the procurement of equipment, and the training of workers all require time and resources, which leads to a lag in production capacity. Especially for advanced processes, such as 7 nanometers, the production process is more complex and the equipment required is more expensive, so it is more difficult to increase production capacity. Secondly, the uncertainty of market demand leads to the instability of production capacity. The semiconductor industry is a highly market-oriented industry, and market demand is highly volatile. On the one hand, Manufacturers need to plan production capacity based on market demand, but the uncertainty of market demand makes prediction difficult. On the other hand, the growth of production capacity requires a large amount of resources and funds. If market demand fluctuates greatly, it may lead to an imbalance between supply and demand. At the beginning of the 7 nanometers process, Due to unclear market demand, some manufacturers took a wait-and-see attitude towards this process, thus limiting the expansion of production capacity. In addition, the supply chain of the global semiconductor industry has also affected production capacity. The semiconductor industry is highly globalized and involves manufacturers and partners in many countries and regions. However, in recent years, changes in the global economic and political environment, such as trade frictions and epidemics, have continued to disrupt and affect the stability of the global supply chain. This has caused problems in the supply of some materials and equipment, 
affecting the increase in production capacity. To sum up, the main reasons for TSMC's insufficient 7 nanometers chip production capacity include technology improvement faster than production capacity growth, uncertainty in market demand, and interference and impact on the global supply chain. Only by fully understanding these reasons can we better solve the problem of insufficient production capacity and enhance the competitiveness of enterprises.